Because unboxing videos are a thing these days, I'm going to prove that an unboxing video doesn't have to take 15 minutes. So here's mine. This box that came from Alsace, France contains a rare Markman Loco from the 1920s. I've been buying stuff on eBay since before PayPal. When I would go to a Riggs Bank in downtown DC, exchange dollars for euros at a ridiculous rate, then I would stuff the euros and attract the UPS envelope and send it off to a person across the ocean I did not know. I have some stories to tell, but I've always received my items. I taught myself enough toy train German and French to know what Uberlachiert and Lauft and Weltweit and O and Monde Entier mean. A lot of European sellers do know a bit of English, at least enough to communicate. Free translation software. If you don't know the idioms of a foreign language, online translators can generate nonsense. I had a German seller answer me once with, speak English. You want to be sure that an outside U.S. seller does ship Weltweit or Monde Entier. Many do not ship to the U.S. and many do not take PayPal. Kind PayPal equals no PayPal, even if their listing has a PayPal logo. Well, being adventurous and taking a chances is one way you build a great collection. Okay, so we got a rubber band here. I really like that. I hate it when sellers truss things up in tape. All you need to do is keep the bubble wrap around it. You don't need to truss it up so that it's hard to get out. Because when you get an item, you really want to get it open fast, right? So here, all right. We'll take here. Right here we are. Getting there. Hey, voila! There it is. These little low gauge English market engines are fairly common in clockwork. I was surprised to see this not only in electric, but in high voltage electric. Although I could have guessed that such an engine exists, since many one gauge versions are found in electric. The seller, Le Vendeur a dit qu'il fonctionne en 20 volts. Let's see if it runs. So here I got the Lionel Pre-War Z transformer that puts out 25 volts. Let's see what happens. Whoa, big short. Right off I can see a likely locus of the problem. In fact, there's a little bit of smoke coming from this. This crumbling wire to the headlight. I always expect these old engines to need rewiring anyway. In some future video, you'll see this engine running. Whoop! <laughs> Better turn that off. Okay. Well, this unboxing video presentation is going to be shorter than even I hoped it would be. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen.